You ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. All right, so here we are in Las Vegas, Nevada, inside the T-Mobile Arena. This has really become the UFC's home base here in Vegas since 2016, and you competed on that inaugural night. UFC 200 was a big one. I got to stand across the octagon from one of the greatest fighters of all time, Anderson Silver, but the roof was blown off at UFC 200. So many stars and legends competed on that night. I'm glad I was able to stand amongst them tonight. You get to make your mark in this great arena. They're certainly getting after it early. Beautiful. Constantly a moving target. Oh, well played there as she gets back to her feet. And she misses with the left punch there. Well, she said in these situations she had to protect her head, and defensively she has done an outstanding job of that. She could not do it any better up to this point. Nice body shot. Oh, high kick. Man, she is just breaking her down with volume tonight as she lands another combination. I mean, over and over, she is just landing so many different attacks. It's amazing to watch someone never throw less than three. She's throwing at least three every time she enters. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Right beside the troll, yep. Oh, guillotine choke would appear to be locked in. Yes, it is. Oh, that guillotine choke is tight. Oh, she got up. What a beautiful display of submission defense. Pushed up on the hips as she bucked, freed her head, and defended that guillotine attempt. Under a minute now to go in the opening round. Oh, nice job by her there. The bottom fighter continuing to slip these ground and pound offerings. Oh, she's got her back. Oh, beautiful reversal on the ground, and now she's got the dominant position. Posturing up now. Oh, and she lands a huge strike to the head. Oh, and how about that? They make their way back to the feet. Crowd going crazy. What a moment for these two athletes. The crowd is losing their mind. While they like the grappling, they love a good stand-up fight. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. She got cut on the forehead in that round. Not a huge cut necessarily, but they got to close that up and prevent it from becoming an issue for her moving forward. All right, she is all smiles as she makes her way back to the stool. DC, a lot of good action there in the previous round, particularly that head kick knockdown. Talk us through. She's a really good striker. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round here. Oh, straight punch. It's there again. The kick is there to the body. Yet another huge kick land. Well, she's going headhunting, but it's working. Great combination. Nice. Nicely done. Nice. Great defense on this play. 
Well, pretty good recovery by her opponent after being stunned, but we see this all the time, right? If you don't close the deal when you have that opportunity, the opponent's back in the fight and can potentially wreck. Especially with this opponent. This opponent's so dangerous all the time. It does not matter that she hurt her before. Oh, man, it worked there. Beautiful straight punch, and now her opponent's firmly on the ropes. But she can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase. <laughs> Trying to establish that jab once again. Two minutes to go round two. Gotta think she's gonna go hard in the paint and go for a finish here. I'm just not sure why she is backing off the pedal a little bit. I don't know why she isn't committing herself to finishing this fight. She has done a great job of setting up the attacks that hurt her opponent. She just not has been able to put her out completely. I wanna see what she will change to ultimately in the night. Well, that left hand has been there for her tonight, not on that attempt. Well, she has certainly picked... Oh, no! Back to the feet! Just missing on the high kick there. Great vision, great defensive instincts by her there as she continues to block the majority of these shots coming her way. Her hands are always where they're supposed to be. Oh, another beautiful kick to the thigh. She has attacked that area to great effect here tonight. She said that was in the game plan. Let's work every part of the body. Right now, the target is the thigh, and she is attacking the Oh, what a shot by her there. I'm not sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the octagon. Still. She can't. All right, back to the stools we go. She has absorbed a lot of damage. You ready to fight? You ready? Third and final round. Yeah. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, man, that cut on her nose is not getting any better. Just pouring blood now. Nice jab. Back and forth we go here. Well, not just the height. And now her opponent may be seeing stars at this point. Her opponent's seeing stars. Her opponent's hurt. She has to really get after her now and try to find that kill shot that's going to finish the night. Nice eye. There it is again. Look at that. Oh, man, she eats another shot right on that cut. Defensively, hasn't addressed things. And I think we might get a stoppage here, Sanchez. Yeah, yeah, we might get a stoppage. And you know what? It'll be a good stop. Oh! Just over. Oh, big knee. She's getting up. Yep. She has her back. She's stepping over the ball here. Continuing to stay. Oh, these ground strikes are just brutal. Two minutes to go in our third and final round. So how about this result tonight? She tore us in the fighter meeting. I got to get a finish here tonight. She absolutely kept the judges out of it. That is her signature win, and this crowd enjoyed every minute. Signature win, John. She has never looked better. She said she was going to get a finish. She got the finish. What a tremendous performance by this young lady. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 59 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO, Uanoyama! All right, 
right, so there she is, your winner by TKO. She felt like her power would be a big storyline in this one, and she was absolutely right. Power was going to be the difference. So what she did was she reserved it. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's go. All right, ready to go with live action here from Scotia Bank Arena in Toronto, Ontario. On point with that jab today. Nice kick to the midsection. Oh, well, why get away from it? Another huge kick lands. Really succinct combination. Her striking's tight tonight. Snapped off the jab nicely there. Good jab. And there's the single leg. She postures up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Here. Watch for the huge elbows that she's known for. Oh, nice. Well, she's got the head trap here. Might be trying to set up a guillotine choke. That guillotine is tight. Good as that as she gets out. She is so aware on the ground and she escapes a deep submission attempt. All right, into full guard here, DC. Where does she go? Going for an arm bar now. Oh, real good submission attempt now. That one looks tight. Oh, she's out. Wow. Way to stay tall. In a tough situation to defend that arm bar. Posture's up now. Oh, and delivers. Huge punch to the head there. She's defending pretty well here, avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. And there it is. Another strike on the ground gets through. All right, so after a great back and forth engagement on the ground, the fighters get back to their feet, and the crowd really showing their support for these two women. The crowd goes crazy because they appreciate the high level grappling that these two women just exhibited for them. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Another big thing now. Oh. Man, Mark Coleman would be proud. Her ground and pound game is on point. Watch yourself, watch yourself. Now you gotta get back up. Nice pass. Way to kick her off and try to get some space to get up. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Nice shot lands downstairs. Couldn't have come at a better time. That keeps her in the fight, folks. She got knocked down here. Caution, flammable, that. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round on the way. Oh, right hand, yes. Nice combination on the feet, and now works it to a takedown. Nice pass. Right into side mount. Making all these shots count. Oh, massive elbows are landing. That's going to leave a mark. Beautiful shot lands the leg there. Great job landing the left hand. Defense held up there as she blocks that shot. Oh, and there's another combination. She's turning this into a sparring session. Just high volume and her opponent's got to make some adjustments. The opponent has to make adjustments, but she has to interrupt those combos. When she gets going into her combination, opponent needs to interrupt that when she is this.
free flowing, it is very difficult to deal with. Left eye starting to shut a little bit. That bear's watching. Just over three minutes to go in round two. lands a nice leg kick here. In terms of those low leg kicks, a lot of fighters say it's just toughness. It doesn't have to do with genetics necessarily. Oh! Massive left hand. Well, not so Maybe the best shot she's thrown tonight. Her opponents are beautiful. Great job. Great job. Finally took a massive shot. Massive shot lands. It's over, John. Fight's done. Well, she's able to get back up here, but man, look how wobbly she is. Wow. Well, we could be looking at an epic comeback here. She rocked her significantly, but wasn't able to finish the fight, and now her opponent maybe creeps back in. Her opponent will now try to find a way to work her way back into this fight. It will be on her to once again land on her to try to knock her up. Oh, another beautiful kick to the thigh. She has attacked that area to great effect. She is in real trouble. Might get the TKO here. Bruce Buffer is in the octagon with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is calling a stop to this contest at four minutes of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Uanoyama! Well, there she is, and you can be sure there's going to be a long line at the after party tonight after what she was able to accomplish tonight. I mean, she will be as popular tonight as she's ever been because no one forgets a knockout like this. It'll be on TV. It'll be on the news. It'll be available everywhere she turns for the next few weeks. And this is a massive moment for her. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here we go with this championship fight. Will we crown a new UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion tonight? Let's find out. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Look at how she drives her knee right into her opponent's midsection. Big power shot there. That one connected. Oh, it lands another uppercut there. She's landed a few of those here tonight. That might have been the biggest of the bunch. That was the best one because you see her opponent start to stagger back a little bit. She didn't see that one. Right. She expected right hand. Oh! There you go. There you go. Well, she's able to get up, but she is officially on water legs. Uppercut. Man, these women are delivering for fight fans around the world. What is... Oh, another one. But if she doesn't adjust, she may be looking at a TKO loss due to a doctor's stop. And you know what? I think that would probably be the best case. Because right now, she has not shown an ability to change the way that this fight has been playing out. So at some point, she's either going to get stopped by TKO or doctor's stop, or she's going to get put out position. Oh! That is going to do it! Oh, my goodness. That is as clean a knockout as you will ever see. It certainly 